Hello ACFO and hello world. I'm here today with the Flow team. Uh, we're going to tell you a little bit about what we're doing this week. Um, I'm Katie and this week I have been working on bug fixes and mostly documentation and also writing some job descriptions for the exciting new developers we're looking to hire. Um, Loic, how about you tell us what you were up to this week? Hello everyone. Uh, today I've been, well, this week I've been working on um, uh, flow data and particularly on uh, solving a problem which is uh, when we have a huge amount of data, how to represent it the most uh, efficient way and especially on different resolution, resolution screens, so from mobile phone to huge uh, screen on computers. So this is my challenge this week. Cool. And Loic, what's the, well, aside from that being a challenge, what's the, been the hardest thing you've had to deal with this week, either with that problem or another thing you're working on? Um, the hardest thing I've been, um, well, it's been, it's been mainly um, working on this data. And, um, and that's it. I think that was a good challenge already. And I'm getting somewhere and I started doing some um, prototypes to see how it works. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, all right. Uh, next, why don't we hear from Ollie? Hi there. Um, this week I've been working on the flow deployment process. Um, so at the moment we have a few scripts that the original flow developers Drew and Chris have been using uh, to get the uh, flow dashboard in, um, instances deployed. So what I'm working on at the moment is taking those scripts and making them um, easier to use and also so that we can plug them into our um, automated deployment process. So the idea is that we can churn out deployments of the Flow dashboard fairly quickly and easily as we need to. Um, this is partly in preparation for moving to a system where we can, where we have all the Flow dashboard instances um, updated to the same version as, as soon as possible. So it means it just reduces our support burden um, it makes it easier to maintain the various instances as we move forward. Um, in between that, um, my time is also split between working on the RSM project, so um, I've actually mostly been working on that this week, but in between working on the flow deployment process. So what's been your biggest challenge, Ollie, this week? Uh, usually having enough time to do everything. <laughs> having enough Ollies. <laughs> yeah, having enough time, having enough... Um, focus and concentration between splitting my time and my focus between the two projects. Really. Yeah, yeah, I think when you when you try to work 50-50, you end up working about 120% total. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, Stellan. Uh, Stellan has no video today, so don't be alarmed, but uh, go ahead and tell us what you've been up to, Stellan. Uh, we mostly bug fixing in the back, and specifically last Days, the uh, data export, which a lot of the people have problems exporting a very large survey data set. So, looking at why the, the Java code that, that runs on, on people's computers run out of memory, and what can be done about that. And also, a few other bugs where, where data gets lost in somewhere inside the backend. Um, and how about your biggest challenge this week, Stellan? What's it been? Uh, it's a little, I suppose, was the uh, um, very many platforms that Java runs on and what actually what is actually relevant for for each person's computer to to separate the environment from what our code does. Mm -hmm. Find out what's our fault and what's somebody else's fault and what to do about that. Right. A lot of moving parts in flow. Yeah, lots, lots of information on the web to, to plow through to try to see what's, what actually applies to our situation. Yeah. It's just generally useful. All right. Well, I, I think I forgot our other 
relatively good piece of news is that we released a new version of the Flow Field Survey application this week that we're going to be slowly rolling out to partners. So if you're a partner and you're watching this, you might hear from us soon. But I think that's all from our team today. Uh, thanks to Loic, Ali, and Stellan, and we'll talk to you guys in a few weeks.